Ukraine is one of the many countries where these fast thoroughbred SUVs are simply adored. Today in our market a lot of Cayenne of the first generation are offered for sale. Maybe due to the fact that they have already lost their former relevance? Or are they so reliable that they do not die for a long time? The liquidity of the SUV is really low, but not at all because of its fragility. According to Porsche showroom managers, the Cayenne is usually bought by wealthy people who, having rolled over, sell it on the principle I won't stand up for the price. And they get rid of it like an expensive toy. And the toy is very technological. The Cayenne has permanent four-wheel drive with a reduction gear and an electronically controlled RTM, Porsche traction management, center differential lock. Under normal conditions, the torque is transmitted to the front and rear wheels in a ratio of 3862, and in the event of a slip, it is automatically redistributed until it is fully applied to one of the axles. The Cayenne's directional stability is ensured by the Porsche management system, which, depending on the driving conditions, brakes one or several wheels at the same time. Cayenne Turbo was equipped with air suspension, which automatically reduces ground clearance from 217 to 187 mm at speeds over 125 km h, and when reaching 210, by another 11 mm. On a very bad road, you can forcibly increase the ground clearance to 243, and off-road, up to 273 mm. The characteristics of the shock absorbers are also adjusted to the change in ground clearance. This is monitored by the Porsche Active Suspension Management System. The Cayenne was equipped with petrol V6 3.2 liters, 250 horsepower, and V8 4.5 liters, 340 horsepower, 450 and 521 horsepower, turbocharged. Six-speed manual and automatic boxes were combined with naturally aspirated engines, and only automatics were combined with turbocharged ones. In our market there is a Porsche Cayenne from America, Eastern countries and Europe. But the most profitable ones are those sold by our dealers. Please note that the market is full of dead specimens. Therefore, diagnostics are required before purchase. Engines are made with a large margin of safety, but they are not eternal. After 100,000 kilometers of run, the motors begin to eat up oil, and its consumption can reach 1.5 liters per 1,000 kilometers of run. In addition, both V6 and V8 are prone to overheating. To comply with the thermal regime, it is necessary to monitor the cleanliness of the engine cooling radiator. Usually the culprit for overheating is a faulty pump or a worn-out plastic pulley for its drive. Plastic pipes of the cooling system often crack. After 5 to 7 years, gaskets and engine seals leak, which dry out over time. All engines, and especially turbocharged ones, are very sensitive to fuel quality. Even a one-time refueling with a surrogate can result in serious expenses. In general, when buying an old copy, you must be prepared for expensive maintenance and repairs. On machines after 100,000 km oil seals flow. The automatic transmission was often changed during the warranty period. Usually she needs repairs to 150,000 km. If the outboard bearing is broken, then it will have to be changed along with the cardan. In an all-wheel drive transmission, the transfer case chain is stretched. Suspension surprises usually after 100,000 km. Repairing a fancy air suspension is very expensive. At risk are air struts, body position sensors and a compressor. The most popular powertrains on the Cayenne are V8 patrols, which are equipped with a chain in the timing drive and a variable valve timing system. After 100,000 km, motors can consume a lot of oil. In turbo engines, the turbines usually fail. It is necessary to monitor the temperature. The Cayenne's cooling system is very capricious. The thermostat often breaks. The radiator gets clogged, and regular plastic pipes, as a rule, are changed to metal ones. The content of the V8 is expensive. Automatic transmissions were often changed during the warranty period. But even if everything is fine with the automatic transmission, the oil seal starts to leak at 100,000 km. It costs a penny, but to replace it, you will have to hang out the power unit. Overhaul of the machine is likely at 150,000 to 180,000 km. In the all-wheel drive system, breakdowns also occur. In the transfer case, the chain is pulled out, and when the outboard bearing is worn out, the card and shaft assembly has to be changed. Statistics show that the rail wears out by 100,000 km. True, it is possible, in exchange for a faulty rail, to purchase a restored one for a third of the cost of a new node. Steering tip withstand an average of 60,000 to 90,000 km. Often, after 120,000 km, the power steering pump flows. Power steering fluid must be strictly the one recommended for use. The front suspension closer to 100,000 km will require a complete bulkhead. True, this does not apply to air suspension. 
pneumatic elements live up to a maximum of 150,000 km, new ones are not cheap. The rear suspension on the Cayenne is fully independent. The mechanical component will require a shake up to 120,000 km. Often, silent blocks have to be changed along with the levers, due to corrosion, dirt and dust, they simply stick to each other. Remember that not a new SUV is not worth buying with a complex air suspension, it can require investments comparable to the cost of a 15-year-old copy.